Welcome to another edition of Boomer Game Reviews. Today, I will be going into how to be the best wing you can be. This applies for centers too. It'll be um, different skills and things you should be working on to do the best you can to help the team the most and get the best payout. So this is the build I've been running. Fast as hell. I haven't been able to get on breakaways, get back, uh, you know, uh, make any defensive play I want. Um, my stamina and speed and acceleration and all my shots are about 88 to 90. So, yeah, I've been really happy with this build. Um, we can touch on perks a little bit. There's a lot of different perks that are really beneficial. I'll go through and point out a couple of them. Uh, close quarters, obviously, is one of my favorites. Um, magnetic can be really good, especially if you're using, like, Crease Crasher, too. The Heat Seeker, uh, goalie screened at all. You're getting goals left and right. The one-timer is great, too. I've always been a fan of that. Um, make it snappy in close quarters. Um, I'm seeing about once a game, at least, one of these coming up for me getting a goal. So I'm pretty damn happy with those. Here's uh make it snappy. Um, I'll go through and touch on a few others. Seeing eye is really good. On an island is great. If you have a fast build and you think you're going to get out, that's what you want to use a lot. Um, I, I see a number of people use this. It's pretty effective. Snipe's pretty dang good. Um, if you're going to be near net at all, that one's great. Off the rush is good. Big tipper, crease crasher, all those you want to have. Um, Thunderclap's pretty good, especially if you're going to be back at the point a lot, getting the one-timers. Um, I see Spinorama, that can be pretty effective. Uh, a lot of the others are like pass assists and stuff like that. Ankle Breaker's pretty good. Uh, Beauty Backhand, you see a lot of players effective with that. Um, let me go over athleticism there's a couple of them unstoppable force that uh makes it really really hard for someone to get the puck off of you that that is a great one late edges quick as heck as soon as you are past the defender or they're facing the wrong way when you're about to go past them you'll get a boost to speed um this is one of my favorites i live by if you're gonna run a small build you'll probably want this bounce back you can only get injured once a game. Once a game. That's a lifesaver. I mean, I remember back in 23, like, I'd be getting lit up every play at the small build. Uh, mostly defensive ones aren't that beneficial. Um, back at you can be. Um, there's a number of them. If you're going to be still on the puck and forechecking a lot, quick pick's not bad. So, like I said, my build is kind of a unique one. Um, I also run a bigger build, as you see the sniper here. Uh, the crease crasher, the one T, the make it snappy. Um, I'm using the bonus stats, you know, the control grister and the accuracy. So those are helping a lot. Um, the moonlight build, I actually had a lot of fun with that. Early on when I didn't have a lot of perks unlocked. You, you unlock all those at level 50. Um, yeah, this is a great build to start with. Both defensive and uh, forward, it's been fun. This is the enforcer build I've been using. It's pretty good. I put a lot of points up, normally within 10 feet, 15 feet of net. Uh, the one-timer is crazy. If you stack some perks, like, uh, you know, I've got the close quarters and make it snappy. The make it snappy with the plus four to strength. Uh, it just adds, you know, extra miles per hour to my shots. So it, it's a lot of fun. Some of the strategy you want to use, uh, some of the things you really want to work on is getting good passes. I mean, if you're an elite scorer, you don't have to worry about that too much. But if you're not putting up a ton of points, you want to be good at passing. Uh, good passing leads to you getting the puck back if your team's capable. Um, you also want to practice rebounds, uh, understanding how and where they'll go. I mean, it's not a perfect science, but that helps a lot. 
I'd say probably um, about a third of my goals are off of rebounds. Uh, a lot of the other ones are breakaways. And most of my others are uh, one-timers. There's a lot of different... Um, if you're using the skill set, you'll want to, you know, look where the Y is the Michigan, um, the X is the toe drag, um, shit, the other two. Yeah, but the other ones, it's, you know, the, that's pretty damn good. Um, those are things you'll definitely want to get used to knowing. Um, so I'd recommend going into practice mode or program. Just screwing around with those shots, getting familiar with the timing and the hits. And then, um, yeah, getting familiar with passing. If you can get where you're good at tic-tac passing, uh, most of the time goalies will be out of position. So you just, you know, call for it as soon as you pass it. And then, especially if it's a computer, it'll send it right back to you. You're ready for the one-timer. Another thing a lot of players don't use that I love... Um, I'll backhand toss it off the wall back to myself if I have no one open. And I'm about to have the puck taken from me. And I can tell if it's going to be a bad situation for me, but I have nowhere to put it. Either put it directly sideways so it comes right back to me, or forwards off the wall to where it comes back to me. Uh, you can also angle it off the wall to where it'll go right across the center of the net. And if your guy is fast, you'll probably outrun the guy to it. Um, if I'm low on stamina, that's one of the things I try to do. You know, just... Anything to help the team and get wins. All right, that's uh, another edition of Boomer Game Reviews. How to be the best forward.